get into the in the crowd here. And this one will count on the scoreboard. Henley Waters finds it first down the middle finish. They were dynamite beating Jones and Wright in the semifinal with winners through the middle of the court as well. So that just picked right up where they left off. Kovalova gets the ATP. It was close, just grabbed the line. Yeah, and you can use that reach that you have. She's tall, she's got that long, doesn't have to fly over there with the long reach. That was really well done. Point. And closing down the middle quickly. So we have identified a center fielder, and that is Callie Smith. That was one, one, one. a great recognition of that attack. Catherine Parento showing some versatility on that right side put away. Yeah, versatility is the name of the game for Waters and Catherine Parento. They will switch sides of the court often, giving different looks to their opponent. Point. And when Callie has an opportunity like that, she has to fire away like she did there. Earned it with a high fourth from Anna Lee Waters. Smith hops the corner, gets the Ernie finish, and she is a big X factor on their side for many reasons. She is. She's got the power. She's got the athletic movement. And look at this read. Saw the Catherine Parenta's head go down to hit the shot and just pounce. That's great from Callie. Point. Time out receivers. The players' needs emotionally is what they bring to the table. So they're always in lockstep on the strategy. Just each player needs something different to play at their best. Point. Put away for Callie Smith, and it was actually Lee Waters playing with Anna Lee Waters in this tournament last year. They won it. A new partner for Anna Lee Waters in this tournament. Yeah, just Five, suffered one, that unfortunate injury at, at the national championship, so almost a year ago. No, 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 no. Point. And drive, crash, they have taken every advantage to bring even more pace, and look at this. Six, two, one, two more on top of it, out of the timeout. This is the best three out of five here on Championship Sunday for women's doubles. Side out. That's absolutely what she wants to do, take a huge crack at that. Just caught the top of the tape. I mean, one, you six, mentioned one. 15 points total given up. They've already given up six here. Attack from Catherine Parento, despite some good pressure from Smith and Kovalova. Yeah, so Catherine's like, okay, you guys have been attacking us. I'm taking any chance I can. And mixed her targets, went down the line on Kovalova, and then found the actual Two, six, left one. hip there. So well done from Catherine. Long for Waters. Long slams Hold it on. off the <laughs> slams it off the wall for stand up double. Two six two. Great shot from Callie Smith inside out attack. Point. You see that uh, Waters and Three, Parento six, are going to prefer Catherine on the left here on this serve. Point. Little skitter off the top of the tape. And when they're going well, they will play faster than any duo Four, six, out two. there with Waters and Parento. Uh, and that's quick to even out the uh, let cords. Callie Joe Smith and Lucy Kovalova, they had five titles together in 2022. Only six, one four, this four. year back in April. Love to know your thoughts on how they could get their game back to the top to rival these two. 
I like the pace. I like the fact that both players have made adjustments to their game. We'll talk about that after this rally. So from Lucy Kovalova's side, staying on that kitchen line. She's tall. Reach in, take advantage. Don't let your opponent get away with a dink that's going to travel too long that you hit off the bounce. So she has definitely put that in play here in Las Vegas. And then for Callie Smith, she's added the two-handed backhand at the kitchen. Both off. Brento and Emily Waters have pulled quite a comeback here in game one. Good eye for Kovalova, the slight finger wag. And when she has a little spice in her in her game, that makes her play a little better as well. She obviously has a good partner in that with Matt Wright, loves to chat. Speaking of that, her and Matt Wright went to a show last night on the Strip. They've had quite a week. They went to U2 on Thursday and then the great comedian Sebastian Maniscalco last night. Second serve. And Maniscalco, <laughs> the Italian, pick loves guy. pickleball. So he even put out a post that said, who can return my Sicilian serve? <laughs> Little did he know in his audience last night, there's a lady that would blast that <laughs> serve. <laughs> Callie Smith all over the kitchen clothes. Love the energy from these two today. And what's interesting about this match so far is we haven't called AL Waters much at all. It has been Parento speeding it up and Waters just more playing defense. So well done by Covalo and Smith so far neutralizing her. That won't last the whole day though. Quick flick down the line from Captain Parento, so good at reaching in and finding that shot. Yeah, and that's the danger of a cross-court attack is if your partner just is in big trouble if you don't get that down because they're not ready. Again, Lucy Kovalova, her toes are millimeters from the kitchen line, and that is such a difference for her. So that is why they are here and why they have a lead. Point. So there's where the singles prowess of the two closest to you on the screen, who will be playing later, mind you, yeah. comes into play here in doubles when they're trying to switch sides. It's like a passing shot. Side out. That carbon technology for Annalie Waters and singles is going to present a whole new slew yes. of challenges for all of her opponents, including gonna, Catherine Parento later today. Gonna be a lot more spin coming at them. <laughs> Callie Joe Smith, she's been on her game on that left side of the court. What's been working so well for her? Well, when she's had the advantage, she's taken it, but it was Kovalova who pulled the trigger. And you see Kovalova just sitting on the backhand waiting, even though the ball's not coming, she is ready. And I love that Callie's playing without fear here. Like, that is a tough poach to get, but because of all the work she puts in off court, she's got the movement to get there. talked earlier, what's the difference? Two-handed backhand attack surprises Anna Lee Waters there. Question is, can they finish? Can they get these last two? Anna Lee 
Rogers says no for now. And unfortunately for Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith, watch Lucy stick her backhand in there, and Callie Smith was going to just punish that ball, and they would have had a game point. Oh, Parento finds the corner. Earlier, she went down the line on that punch. It's not an easy shot to hit. No, perfect pace here on this coming up here. Just a little flick in the corner. 7-9-1. Man, such a good volley. She did that repeatedly yesterday. Good first volley on the run. Pull the upset, they have to win this first game. Down the middle finish for Captain Parenta Waters. Earned the point though. A couple shots before that yeah and we talked to lucy early and she said lobs are definitely going to be in their game plan there but not off balance when you're not all engaged in a dink rally because then you have everybody looking in and throw the lob up that was not the right position there and then a miss serve to go on top of it so you don't want that to carry over and they can't get to 10 again that's four chances Seven, nine, one. Oh, Callie Smith. Just violent Ernie right there. I mean, just that's when you tell that a player is mentally engaged in a match when she is all over the reeds like that. That was phenomenal. into the net, brings the serve back to Kovalova and Smith. They need two points to take game one. Yeah, and this is a nice little half timeout, you know, go over to the towel, just figure out what do we want to do here. These two communicate with each other very well. Nine, seven, one. Kovalova on the line again and has the confidence coming into this match and we're seeing it here in the PPA final right here. And a miss from Anna Lee Waters. Finish line two more times against the best team and the undefeated team. But they're taking every short return and punishing it as well they should. Wide for Parento, and the pressure continues from the three seat. I mean, both players on that screen right there are playing some of their best pickleball in 2023 right this second. And that's what it takes to pull the upset. One of the two playing great isn't enough. Zero, two, one. And now you hear the energy coming from the other half of the court, and she is going to want to get it cranking up here, Ms. Annalee one. Waters. Point. Yeah, even returning her to her now, while that keeps her off the net, gets her involved in the action a little more. Lucy Kovalova told us before this match they would mix up where they would be returning yes, just to keep them out of any rhythm or try to. 100%. And it's a very smart strategy. No, no, no. 
That's a good ball from Lucy Kovalova. The other thing she told us was hanging in, hanging in the rallies more at the kitchen, holding the line and being ready for those situations. And they did it phenomenally in game number one. You know, Lucy on occasion can back off that line. She is just not doing it in this tournament in women's doubles. Second serve. Two, two, two. see that so often you throw up a couple lobs and you get into better position and then you try to do too much that's a great deep Two, lob three, that gives her a backhand that she could have just dropped in the kitchen your goals are different at that point so far. I mean, Lucy Kovalova is fading left like there's a rope pulling her to the side here. Watch two, three, this. Two. Just came all the way over there, but was able to find a forehand. Why was she dropping that hard? She was wanting to counter with a forehand and saw the ball position on the other side, so just had to keep moving to match it. That was a great job by her. Kovalova and Smith Three, two, one. with the one-point edge. Got the sign out, first server here. And you just don't see that from him. That's just a desperation shot that she tried to hit there off a very good cross-court dink from Lucy Kovalova. So they have been aggressive even with their dinks taking a little risk, Two, making it a millimeter over the net, and it is working. Yeah. Annalie Waters puts an end to the third lob shot of 10th. What do you think of the three lob choices in a row? I mean, when you're back, it's hard to get that, but you got to have depth and a little height so that you can defend well. Just no way that Lucy is going to be able to get that, or Callie for that matter, because of the short Four, two, two. lob there. Let's find the ball closer to the baseline on the next one. a good sequence leading up to that point for Kova Lova. I mean, that is a heartbreaking point to lose because it's the new shot that Lucy is working on, that reaching in with that backhand down on the one. ground, and then she had a sitter overhead that she didn't put away. Point. Ball is called deep, and there was the pressure of Catherine Parento. And there's the difference. The overhead put away three, four, there one. wasn't put away on the rally before, so that could be five or six, two instead of four, three. Second serve. Just absolutely has brought the flamethrower to this match as Callie Smith. Three, four, two. Kovalova and Smith get the serve back. And where are we thinking this third 
shot drop should go or third shot ball. I mean, ideally, you'd like to hit a good deep serve and get something they can drive. Second serve. Have that shorter return, but Kovalova opted to drop it in front of Parento. Yeah, and then she tried that shot Four, that we've been two. talking about, but she was not set at the kitchen, so that's one I'd love for her to reset and wait for a better opportunity. ATP is short for Parento. Just love the movement of Kali. She looks for the urn. If it's not there, it still is a flash that your opponent has to keep an eye on. Five, three, Think two. about your shot that you are executing. It up in six, three, smart two. choices. Long dink battles are not what Callie and Lucy want. Side out. Side out out of the timeout called for Waters and Parento. Three, six, one. They took your advice to slow it down at first, and then Callie Smith wanted the firefight. Right, so that's fine. If they started on the wrong shot, then you're going to be able to easily counter that. Lucy Kovalova lets it fly. Referee timeout. Forces the second serve and a TV timeout. Action here on Championship Sunday. You're joining us midway through game two, Four, six, two. of the Women's Doubles Championship. Annalie Waters and Parento down a game. Yeah, you're reading the score right. They haven't lost all season. Smith got the opening she wanted, but Waters and Parento recover. Yeah, really like those middle dinks coming out of the TV timeout there just to set the stage a little bit. Uh, Waters and Parento have been feeding the offense of Kovalova and Smith. Now they're playing a little better on their terms and within one. the difference was Annalie Waters, Chai game, six all. And it's amazing when you just regroup on, even if you're the number one seed, throw those dinks in the middle and then six, throw six, one two. wide to Lucy Kovalova and then she's out of place. Joe Smith, former tennis player, annihilating a couple of overheads there. Yeah, to just beat it six, six, clean one. past Catherine Parento is hard to do. That's a nice attack from Catherine Parento. She's so good at taking the ball out of the air and a quick flick down the six, line. Six, yeah, that's the shot all the ladies want to have, that one-handed backhand. Yes. Lucy Kovalova can expect a ton of balls on the left foot there coming her way because they have identified an opportunity to open up the court, set up the patterns they want, and it is working. Six, six, one. Yeah. Same 
same spot. So now Cowley tries to jump in there. And this is, again, back to. They're finding their rhythm. Kovalova and Smith will need a quick response. It's like there's a target in the court right there at the left foot of Kovalova right now. Just missing for Kovalova. You're exactly right. Every single ball in that sequence went to the left foot. How do you adjust if you're Kovalova and Smith? So Callie can cheat Eight, over six, and take a forehand there, or Lucy needs to take a step to the right. And then if you do take a step to the middle and you're Callie, you get passed with the singles wizardry of the two on the far side with that great cross court win there. And they also like Anna Lee Waters in front of Lucy Kovalova clearly here as well. So I've seen that adjustment. So smart coaching. Who has been fortuitous for the one seat. Point. One little strategic change. I, I encourage them to slow it down. They did that, but now they're slowing it down to an exact spot and they've got a game point here. off the overhead of Smith and uh -oh. after two, zero, two. first serve of game three. So number one, it's just recognizing that's what you're gonna be able to deal with. And secondly, you saw Callie Smith cheating more to the middle there. So make it more difficult for them to hit it there. Second serve. And you have got to really be on top of the line to not let that travel to the Zero back end two. of the kitchen and don't let them get away with just wearing out the left foot of Lucy Kovalova. Yeah, Point. So there's no doubt we also have a shadowing going on, whether you want to call it Parento in front of Callie Smith or more likely Anna Lee in front of Lucy Kovalova here. It's absolutely happening now. And why would that shadowing be so effective for them? I mean, I think they like the Catherine roll to the feet of uh, Lucy Kovalova cross court, and then Anna Lee Waters can look to pick something off from Zero there. One. So uh, we'll see if that continues. There you see Callie Smith has changed her positioning, Point. but that leaves the left side of Callie Smith open too. So it's <laughs> one chess piece moves and then the other one and you've got to protect the king and the queen. Well, it's almost like that mixed doubles positioning for the guys that are playing the left in some ways where you're expecting to be tested on the backhand side, but yep. you give that up to make up for what you're losing. And you know, we talk about dinking with a purpose. This entire match has changed by dinks to a specific Western spot on the play. court. Two one one. Waters whips it. I mean, you saw Lucy Kovalova and Callie Smith comfortable teeing off on everything. Now they're the ones backing off the kitchen and just trying to fight and scrap their way back. Really great strategic stuff here from Catherine Three, Parento one, one. and Annalie Waters. 
point. So is there anything that they can do well, to shift that the strategy other thing back in their side? Is don't switch, let Lucy play on the left side and see how that goes. So uh, they chose to stay there. That might have been just because of the value of the serve. Oh, Waters on the run. She had the opening cross court. Second serve. Look out, cameraman. Look out, Anna Lee, and into that side video board there. <laughs> Four, one, two. Side out. Great deep return. So they need to get their serves deep to set up the drives and the crashes and the pace that they had back in game number one. So this is 12 out of 13 for Waters and Parento. The middle finish for Annalee Waters. The gap was created a couple of points before that. One, four, two. Yes, and then you get Callie trying a tough ball to speed up. And then Callie Smith jumps over and plays the aggressor. That seems like that's the only answer, right? And when it's set up from the drive two, because four, the serve was great and they got a short return. Out. So Waters and Parento have to get their returns deep, and that shuts one. down a lot of that first strike offense from the three seed. Point. The other thing that this strategy does is Anna Lee Waters knows exactly where the ball is going to go every time and can going to change. So the ball will be coming to that left foot of Lucy Kovalova here for sure. Second serve. Five, two, two. Yeah. Down the line for Lucy Kovalova. So that's the discipline, like Anna Lee Waters, get back into what's gotten you here. Don't just try and two, speed five, something up wildly right into the backhand of Kovalova. Second serve. So that's the shot that Matt Wright was recommending. Just got to make it, take it out of the air. Two, five, two. Lucy Kovalova finds it down the line at Italy Waters. Yeah, when she says watch it, she's usually communicating to her partner, but this is watch it yourself, and she's just completely at her mercy there. So if they can get one more here, like really important scoreboard-wise. And they will. You hear from the sideline, Matt Wright saying, nice spot. Yeah, because guess what? Catherine Parento has a left Four, foot, five, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go there. No. Yeah, she does. And those sketchers. <laughs> yeah. Same spot again. So we'll look at his. Five, five, and you know, sometimes because the roll back to the backhand, she's going to just be out of position. So it's going to be Lucy's domain. But then they said, you can do exactly what you're doing and put it at Catherine's feet as well. Joe Smith, the winner of that point, had two opportunities to put it away with the overhead. Yep, and Kovalova, that doesn't look like much right there, but that is an important shot. And why? Six, five, two. Because it neutralizes what has been beating you by not letting that ball bounce, take it out of the air, and then make Catherine try and attack through Kylie Smith. That's a lot more difficult.
Wide for Smith. So Annalise snuck in there and saw an opportunity and took it. So well done there. Five, six, one. So nice job by Callie Smith of saying, well, I'm sick of watching my right side player have to deal with dinks at the left Five, foot. Six, she threw him right at Catherine Parenta's left sketcher there. Oh, that's a whip of a forehand from Annalie Waters. No problem with the middle ball there. But if you do that and you're not set, the two of you have got to close the middle because that attack is not going to go outside. There's no room. You six, run out six, of real two. estate. We're just 20 by 44. Wow. Waters and Parento just battled back into the point, somehow get back to the kitchen after the lob of Kovalova. Yeah, her lob, she told us she was going to do it. They've been perfection. And then a little off-speed pitch there from Seven, six, Anna two. Lee Waters, just a little roll using that carbon fiber. So that's what happens if Callie jumps in there and takes it. She is one step out of position, then has to be sliding laterally quickly if she puts it on the Anna Lee Waters backhand. So that is not a good solution for this left Eight, foot six, Kovalova dink fest. Such a good angle from Lucy Kovalova. We saw that a couple of times yesterday sure did. as well. And for deeper context here, Lucy Kovalova and Kelly Jo Smith were the team to beat in 2022 in women's doubles. Five titles for them last season. This year they only have one because of Annalie Waters and Catherine Parento, whoever Waters is playing with. Parento's defense was insane in that point. Kovalova got the better of it there, but they had to earn every inch of that. They did. So if Callie can take those middle balls out of the air, she absolutely should do it and then give them a taste of their own medicine. Little roll to the left foot of Catherine, pop up, and a winner. Why is that Second roll serve. to that left foot so challenging to deal with? It's the hardest dink to hit when it's coming at you because you have to go inside out on your backhand. You're just not in a good hitting position if it's coming with some pace and some spin. Inside out for the finish and a side out. Yeah, and tough luck for Smith and Kovalova. They played a great point, but then that ball just cannot be sped up once it went off the tape. You got to just, okay, it went off the tape, settle down, throw a dink back in the kitchen, and then get back to work. But much better handling here of that dink by Kovalova, just sitting on the line, taking it out of the air for the most part. Chestnut checkers on 8, 7, display 1. in a big way here in this match. Yeah! Oh, Hannah Lee Waters storms in to take the two point lead. Come Look out. Nine, seven, one. Oh. And so much more music, entertainment. I'm going to play games. pickleball. The video game will be there to demo. Just come enjoy a celebration of this great sport.
point. Lilova wanted that flip down the line on Waters, and now. Yeah, and I know point. why she's frustrated because Anna Lee is cheating way over to the right, so that was open, just caught the tape. 10 7 1. Second serve. And you see the sorry from Catherine. Annalie thought she was taking that ball out of the air. Side out. We got away with that one of those tough running volleys off the tape. Parento couldn't handle it, so hey, Seven, got ten, a chance. One. Smith is having a hard time putting the ball away on Catherine Parento. I mean, Understandably, I mean, the defense of Parento is insane. She just keeps pulling the community Eight, 10, chest, get out of jail free card. It's unbelievable. Ready for the attack of Callie Jo Smith. So you watch Callie Smith slide, which leaves that part of the court open, and that's where Kovalova would have had to come all the way over there, but you would have had to really be overcorrecting. Goes flying into the scoreboard. And frustrated not with running into the scoreboard, but the fact that the ball went off the tape and she couldn't get there in time. Top of those are really sharp, too, so you got to make sure we've seen, we actually seen Hurricane Tyra Black cut her hand a little bit on one of those as you try to brace your fall and right into the camera. She seems fine, but again. There you go. Maybe banged her finger on yeah. the top there or something. Oh, and this Second reset serve. ball from Annalie Waters. One more try to close out game three for Catherine Parenta. 10-8-2. Closes it out. I'm we'll in. see. And now it's going to come down two. to execution. I think people kind of know how these points are going to play out. Point. One zero two. <laughs> <Sorry> <laughs> the pace of that volley from Anna Lee Waters. That just exploded off the brand new paddle right there. And that's what you can do, protect your partners trying to Zero run one over one. there and cover the opening, just dare them to hit it there. Point. The interesting thing about the way this match has played out is Parento and Waters love to switch sides a lot, give you a different look throughout. Not in this match. They're keeping one, one, one. Anna Lee in front of Lucy Kovalova the entire time. Point. Two, one, one. Wow. Callie yeah. Joe Smith Second lights serve. up Catherine Parento. Yeah, but that was after the shot that created the wow from you. Yeah. That dig in the How? middle by two, one, Callie two. Smith was remarkable. You thought the point was done right then and there. Sorry. 
point. That is world class, that little flick there. Callie Smith never saw that coming. So disguise and pace out of that, that's remarkable Three, one, from the Canadian. She said sorry, but does she mean it? No, that was just a great <laughs> shot. That's not one you even want him to say sorry on. Side out. So that's what you got to give to Annalie Waters. If you're going to dink it in the middle, it's going to be hard to find. Three, one. They have the first serve, though, on their side, trying to make up some ground. It's a must-win game for them. Oh, and the, Second serve. the lob on the run was so great. And then that looked like a little kid sitting at a uh, bar. <laughs> it just goes all the way down. Can't believe it. I mean, the quality of that lob on the run, usually when people two. try that, it goes 50 feet out. Side out. So quick side out after Umbrella Gate, unfortunately, for Kovalova and Smith because we are nearing the 90-minute mark here, hour 24 into this match. Just back for Parento. And this is a match where everyone on the court thought it would be a lot of dinks to the Callie Smith backhand, but because of that new identification of the left foot of Kovalova, that has not been the case. Oh, Callie Joe Smith was ready for the counter, but Parento does one better. Yeah, and that's when we've seen that a couple times. Kovalova's got to squeeze to the middle oh, to counter that, but that's really tough. That's a long way to go. Sorry, now. It's two amazing shots from Callie Smith there, because that third shot roll from Anna Lee Waters, and that's what she said is going to be a big difference with the new paddle. Down the middle Second finish service. for Annalie Waters again on that two-handed backhand. They cannot resolve that middle situation, whether it's the foot of Kovalova or the miscommunication there. Side out. And now they're taking wild swings at speed ups right into the wheelhouse of both Parento and Waters. This is danger time right here. Point. And it carried over, so a little frustration from the shot. Middle will be a key for Lucy Kovalova and Kelly Joe Smith. More on that after this Annalie Waters serve. can you do when Waters and Parento are constructing points like that? Sometimes you just got to tip your cap because there were some good, that ball right there from Kovalova was outstanding, but too good on the other side. Quick ball, right foot, quick ball. Oh no. Oh, no. Point. So those violent Ernie's were awesome in game one when they started the upset to be brewing. A challenge on the Ooh, and they're going to challenge this, so that take into more rallies that would be played right now, but here we go. Timeout lost. You now have zero timeouts. Service at two timeouts. We'll resume play at 7-1-1. So that takes away the timeout. The call stands, obviously. We saw that, so they're going to have to play this out from here on out. Interesting choice to challenge that. I think a lot of times players fault and then slide their foot just a little and look down like, my feet are perfect. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, but two seconds ago they weren't. 
What a shame after a remarkable rally from all four ladies to have the tape get involved. But when you are actually aiming one millimeter above the tape to keep the ball in a safe position, that's why we have so many net cords in the pro game because you know you have to keep it close or you will pay the price. 9-1-1. Second serve. 9-1-2. Side out. And this has been a remarkably clean match, meaning you've had to earn every inch here. That's why we have eclipsed the 90-minute mark now. Making up for that mix, missed mixed doubles match. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Point. That's a phenomenal block from Lucy Kovalova. We talked to her before this match about staying on the line. She goes, like, I'm going to probably get pegged every once in a while from being that close, but you are also closer to your opponent to put the ball back at them quicker. for Kovalova and Smith. Yeah, and you see how smart Parento is. She knows what the game plan is, but to make sure that Callie Smith forehand's not in the middle, just throw one behind her on occasion. So she set up Anna Lee Waters perfectly for a winner down the middle, just pushed it deep. Nice response to strategy when things aren't going well as they flip the script in this match. For Kovalova. Second serve. Second serve. And a chance to close a five point gap, which feels like a big mountain at this point in the match. 4 9 2. Smith has been trying to just hit overheads through Catherine Parento all day long, but got that opportunity because the Kovalova lob again was perfect. 5-9-2. Down four points, second server. tried that little flick out of the air. The problem is that ball is a little below the net, so she has to hit up on it, and Anna Lee Waters is ready with the two-minute backhand Nine, five, counter. One. Good pressure ball from Catherine Parento, and just like that, championship point for the one seat. Anna Lee Waters Ten, five, and Catherine Parento looking to stay undefeated. Second Not serve. yet. Ten five two. Oh, 
Oh. She had it. Callie Joe Smith did. 